everyone welcome to pep coding the question we are going to solve today is called pattern test so first let us understand what the pattern is and then we are going to print it so let's take the pattern to the board and i'll help you understand what the pattern is all about so we have a pattern over here and in this pattern we have a diamond shape right so if you can see we have one star in the first row two stars in the second row three stars in the third row two stars in the fourth row and one star in the last row so we have been given a number which is n and we know that the number n represents the number of rows which we have to work with that is the number of rows in which we have to print our pattern so now if you observe the pattern carefully we have to take care of two things the first thing which we are taking care of are the outer spaces right so we have two outer spaces over here over here we have a single outer space in this row we have no outer spaces so there is none this becomes zero right then as soon as i go down from the middle portion that is the middle row again outer space is increased by one and then it became two so first outer spaces are increasing by one over here and then okay no first outer spaces are decreasing by one over here and then outer spaces are increasing by one okay so i have then we have inner spaces to take care of so here i have one inner space then i have three inner spaces so it increased by two again as soon as i go down from the middle part it became one again right and initially it was equal to zero in both of them so what is happening is over here i have two things outer space and inner space so when we are dealing with outer space first it was 2 then it was 1 then it became 0 then 1 and then 2 again inner spaces in the first row were 1 then became 3 then 1 again so over here i can see a pattern which is of 1 right decrease by 1 increase by 1 here i can see increase by 2 decrease by 2 So if I take zero over here in both of these, it will break my pattern, right? So I am going to take minus one. That does not make any dis difference, right? So I can take minus one over here, and I will maintain my uh, pattern where I am taking a difference of two. Okay, and then I also have to deal with the stars. So as you can see, in the first and the last row. I have one star each, and in rest of the rows, I have two stars. So I have to make sure to be able to stick to this pattern and then print, right? So let's do this using a compiler over here. We'll start. Okay. Now, the first thing I need to do is take the input. So I have to take the input of the number of rows. right then i have to start taking the stars right so i have to print the stars as well as the spaces so i am going to do this for n number of rows so from 1 to n then the next thing which we are doing is observing the pattern so i'll make the pattern over here so we can follow it we have one star Two over here, here, two, and one. And over here, we will make these spaces. So one, two, three. Over here, we will have one and two, one, zero, one, and two. And our inner spaces will be equal to over here. We have one, then three, 
and then one okay so now we are going to move according to this pattern the first thing which we are doing over here is print the outer spaces right so we are going to start printing the outer spaces first we need to initialize the outer spaces so we will start from this row for the first row how many outer spaces do you see we have two outer spaces right we have n to be equal to 5 and the outer spaces are coming out to be 2 so whenever we are using int and i divide 5 by 2 in integer value what will i get 2 right so over here we have the number of outer spaces to be equal to n by 2 okay so here we are going to take a variable outer space and it will start from n by 2 okay so we have starting from 1 and going till okay and over here we are going to print paste system dot out dot print here after we are done printing the outer spaces i need to print a task so i have a staff with a tab okay then after printing the star, I want to go for the inner space. So, inner space for the first row, starting with minus 1 as we discussed to maintain the pattern of the difference of 2. So, we are going to take a variable and we will initialize it as minus 1. So, over here I have another loop. And here also I will print spaces. Okay, now after that, see in the second row, third row, and fourth row, that is all the rows leaving the first as well as the last row, I need to print two stars each. But I have to make sure that I do not print in first and the last row. So we have to take care of that condition. So we are saying that if the value of i, that is rho, is greater than 1 and it is less than the last row that is n. So we are in this case we will print another star. Along with the tab. Okay. Now what we are doing is see we need to uh, change the values of the outer spaces and the inner space. Right. So we have to move till the middle row and while we are moving till the middle row outer spaces are decreasing by one and inner spaces are increasing by two so what we are going to do is and what will the what will be the value of the middle row so here i have one two and three right so if i am taking this from one my value for the middle row is equal to n by two plus one right so if I increase for 1, I will get for second row. If I increase for 2, then I will get for third row. But for third row, I need to decrease. So my condition over here will become that if i is less than equal to n by 2. That is if i is less than equal to 2 in this case. So we are going to, what we are doing is, we are decreasing outer spaces by 1. And we are increasing inner spaces by 2. Right? Otherwise, we are going to, what we are doing is, in the portion after the middle row, outer spaces will increase by 1 and inner spaces will decrease by 2. So we are going to increase outer spaces by 1 and decrease inner spaces by 2. Okay? And after that, when we are done with all of this, we need to go to the next line. So, we are going to take another line. Here I have system.out.print. 
print L. Okay, now let us try to run this program and see if it is correct. Just let me rub this off. Now we have to run the program. Okay, there's something wrong. The values over here. So let's see what's going wrong over here. We have to check for each of these. So let us check what the error is and then I'll tell you. So over here in this line, line number 19, as you can see, I put this as less than inner space. So I will not be able to work for the uh, last inner space. So I need to put an equal to sign over here and I'm going to run this program now. Okay, now this is accepted, so we are going to submit it. So, it was correct answer. So, we discussed pattern 10, which was something like a diamond. I hope you understood the concept of outer spaces and inner spaces. And I hope you understood what we were doing in the question. So thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.